All right, what's up, my friends? How's it going? We are playing uh, some modern today, and we're playing a brew. This is a Dan Jessup brew. Um, obviously, this deck's been kind of played before, but uh, Dan sent me this deck last week saying I should try it out on stream, and I didn't really get around to it, uh, but Dan actually played it in GP Hartford, and uh, I know he day two He had a rough day two but um, deck's pretty sweet. So we've all seen Sahili and Feldar Guardian in standard, obviously. Uh, that's no longer a thing. But in modern, hey, it's the closest we got to Splinter Twin for the most part. So we're playing uh, the combo are based around a, Je a Jeskai shell. A lot of cards you've seen before in Jeskai, you know, Serum Visions, uh, of course, Path to Exile, and of course, Lightning Bolt, the usual one drops in Jeskai. We're also playing two Snapcaster Mage, so not a full set, but two. Uh, and then we have four Wall of Omens, and we have four Spreading Seas, also somewhat common Jeskai cards. I'm uh, not necessarily seeing a lot of play currently, but, you know. Then we have Blade Splicer, a pretty popular card. A pretty powerful card, too. Very good with our flicker effects, obviously. Um, cool with Sahili, you can copy it. Cool with Feldar Guardian, you can flicker it. Pretty sweet card overall. Also defends Sahili very well. Uh, Reflector Mage, another good card to copy or flicker, and just powerful card in general. And then uh, we have one Jace the Mind Sculptor. <sighs> Jace. What a problem, child. And one PN Kieran Delar. Powerful mid-range card, good to flicker. Um, not as good with Sahili, right? You can't you can copy it, but you'll lose the the legend. So pretty simple deck, honestly. We're gonna play come into play effects. We're gonna flicker them and try and splinter twin combo our opponent with Sahili Rai. Feldar Guardian. For those unfamiliar how that works, basically you play Sahili Rai, have it in play, then you cast the Feldar Guardian, and you flicker the Sahili. And then you use the, I guess it's not necessary to do that immediately, but you use the minus two on Sahili to make a copy of Feldar Guardian. That's an artifact. Comes into play. Flicker Sahili. Make a token. Flicker Sahili, etc., etc. You end up with infinite one four hasted Feldar Guardian artifact creatures. Yeah, Dan, I changed that. Two Jace. Jace just, I don't know, wasn't about the Jace. But, um,. Yes, yeah, so Dan's original list had, had two Jace and three Sahili. I made it four Sahili. I wanted to be a little more focused, and Jace has been pissing me off lately. So, um, sideboard has a lot of usual suspects. Uh, negate, uh, Dispel, some Counterspell action, uh, two Ceremonious Rejection, good against Artifact decks, Eldrazi, of course. One Celestial Purge, I think this is a must in almost all Jeskai decks. Very good against uh, Liliana, Dark Confidant, a bunch of different things, Gurmag Angler, etc., etc. Um... An extra PA here and a LAR for, for grindy matchups. We have an Anger of the Gods against uh, creatures and dredge and stuff like that. Two of Braids um, as our artifact removal spell and also extra removal spell of choice. A Staticaster. Love this card. Another card that Jeskai deck should never leave home without. And an Explosives. Same thing. I feel like all blue decks should have at least one of this card on their sideboard no matter what. And two Relic of Progenitus as our graveyard hate card of choice. Um... We got some, some lands, three colonnades, nothing fancy. Someone asked in chat if uh, this deck is possible without Tarns. Sure. I mean, you could do it without Tarns if you're playing just, you know, Flood Strands and Ard Maces or whatever. Your mana base will be a little worse, but it's possible. Um, and yeah, it's a deck. Pretty simple, pretty focused, which I like. Um, and we're going to we're gonna battle. Let's do it. Nope. Not playing Sealed. Dan, what did you finish with this deck? I know you had a rough day, too. I think Dan went 7-2 and two on day one. Ha, I did not play him a GP because I was capped out of it. Me and Nicole were going to play in it. Ended up uh, missing registration and not, and, uh, not signing up in time. I believe it capped Tuesday morning. and um, So we didn't play the GP. I did play the PTQ. Um, Nicole and I had a fun weekend. Um... It was our anniversary, we went, went to a hockey game, uh, Hartford Wolfpack, went to Mohegan Sun, came for the PTQ on Sunday, I played Jeskai Control, and played against Valak at round one, and got destroyed. It was single LM PTQ, basically. So, that was my PTQ, and um, yeah, fun weekend overall, though. Also happy that Frank Scarron, my buddy, uh, top eight as well, playing Affinity, which is really cool. So, what's up, Q-Dick? Hand's fine. Opponent ball against a six. We're going to keep. Um, Serum Vigil is obviously great. I'd love to find a thing to do on turn two if it's not Path to Exile, but 
Serum Agents will probably help us do that, so. Finish X5, okay. Island, go. Blade Splicer, all right. Um, I think we're gonna fetch Hollow Fountain here. So if we top top our visions, we can just keep it and not worry about uh. Hmm. Yeah, if I was playing Island, our life total's not gonna matter that much. Jace felt good despite boarding it out a lot. That's fair. Me and Jace had a had a tumultuous relationship lately. Jace Sank, we're gonna find out right now. It's a good thing you're here. First up of the stream, Robert Rost05. Robert, what's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? And what do you want to name Nicole's puppy? Because if we get 1,000 subs, I get Nicole a puppy. Which she really wants. Opt Shivan Reef. Looks like Storm. Yeah. Alright. I would say Storm is probably not a great matchup for us. I do do coaching. I'm really, really like backed up with students. I have like four or five new students. I don't think I can take on any more right now. You're welcome to send me a message. We do it on Skype screen share. I don't think I, I can take any more students. Um, not that I don't want to, but time is a, a limiting factor, of course. I guess we're going to we have to draw this bolt. Yeah, I guess we're going to just draw the bolt. Good. So we don't want these cards anyway, so that works out fine. All right, so we're just going to bolt this thingy. Let's get a mountain at this point. I'd say this matchup seems pretty bad for us. At least game one. So. Lost to three reman re re decks. Yeah, reman does seem good against us. What color am I most excited to play in Dominaria? I haven't looked at the set that closely yet because... God damn. I'm going to get the Snap Bolt, I guess. But um, I don't get to brew. What, what was their scry? Their scry was top, top. Yeah. I don't get to brew until the set's online. So once Dominaria is online, I'll be playing a lot of Dominaria Standard. Until then, not putting too much thought into it, honestly. All right, they only have three cards in end. So, just main phase gifts. Let's say we're probably dead. Probably just slam Sahili and hope they can't kill us next turn, which seems really unlikely. We don't really have much interaction in our main deck for Storm, so. All right, so they have two cards in hand. I guess we're trying to choke them on mana, so we'll we'll not give them the rituals. So yeah, we'll put, put both rituals in the graveyard and pray, basically. If we can buy a turn or two, we can hopefully just place a Healy, get lucky, draw Feld our Guardian, I suppose. Oh, Jace. Always showing up when you're most useful. For those who didn't see the meme I posted on Twitter, first off, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Second off... Come on. Just do something. Yeah, make sure you follow me on Twitter. All right, so we're going to see Healy and Prey. That's our, our current plan. Blade Spicer Beats is going to be not fast enough. Steam Vents. We do need to land and... and Feldar Guardian. It's like... I guess we... Bottomless? I don't know. I guess we. The thing is, like, we're just digging to Feldar Guardian, and we have more lands, obviously. So we could just bottom this. Next turn, we're going to, like, draw a card with Spreading Seas. I guess we could play Jace next turn. I don't see us realistically winning. Um, I guess we just top it. Jace gives us the best dig, I suppose. I don't even know. Is there a problem? Stop playing, babe. Nicole's here. I'm booking for Connecticut Comic Con. Okay. I was curious if you should book a room for Sunday. 
Why are you being creepy? Because I want to be on camera. <laughs> well, then figure it out later. I don't know. Nicole's oh. here. Well, I need your... Am I dead? I mean, they started their turn metamorphose, metamorphose. I'm going to say yes. Nope. No. Repeal. Repeal. So you're saying there's a chance. Ooh. Jace, come do something. They were scared you'd scratch your, your goat to the top. Spreading seas, spreading seas, sulfur falls. If we had four spreading seas, we could maybe turn them off red. That is not the case, though. All right, I mean, we're going to dump... Whatever. We, we can't... We have no shuffle effects, unfortunately, so... Except for path, if you path your own. We can path our own Snapcaster Mage. It's not actually... Not a bad idea, actually. Thanks. Because that, that, that gives us an extra mana, so you can try and Sahili Feld them in the same turn. I like it. That's a good idea. Thanks. <laughs> Cole's being helpful. I am. That's what I came to do. I told you to stop losing, so... Yeah. <laughs> Well, now we're just dead, though. Uh, yeah, here it comes. Wait, no, six? What's this? Passive limbs cost... Yeah, five. Yeah, we're dead. All right? All right, well, it's F6. Whatever. Can I help you? Anything else? Yeah, this is the weekend of Atlanta, the end of June, beginning of July. Right before, I guess, we're going to move. I'm, I'm, like, live on camera right now to the internet. Oh, I know. You're just... You're just we're discussing... What, what, what are we doing here? This is very unprofessional. You're the one that's supposed to be professional, not me. I'm here to be unprofessional. Yeah, that's well, I'm going to have to kick you out. <laughs> that's my job. This is ridiculous. I'm just dying to storm. All We're right. just sitting here doing nothing. You know, like, yeah, well, we'll figure it out later. Comic-Con's great, all right? All right, so Robert Robert Roast from Northern VA, playing since 98. Damn. With a little break. Favorite deck was old school blue-white flyers with Sarah Angel and clones. Sweet. Or black-red land destruction using icy manipulators and Zen Poltergeist. I don't know what that card is. Puppy name should be that fits the puppy's appearance. Curious on your thoughts for best Eldrazi list in modern. Honestly, I kind of like the um, the serum powder Eldrazi deck. I guess the most explosive, which I think is the most important feature. All right, whatever. We can we can get seed now. Um, so probably the serum powder Eldrazi deck. You, I played I played that deck on my YouTube. If you haven't seen that, you can check it out. We five auto league with it pretty easily, honestly. All right, so rough rough match there. Um, a rough game, rough game there. We don't really have a lot of answers to this deck. So, we need to bring in our Dispels and our Negates and our Relics. Um, we don't want our... S hmm. We don't want Path Exile. Don't really want to Path a Mana Creature. I mean, I don't want any of these cards, honestly. I don't want Wall of Omens. I don't want Spreading Seeds. This matchup seems really, really bad. I don't want Reflector Mage. I don't want Jace. And there we go. Those are all the cards you don't want. I guess we can bring in an Explosives and a Static Caster. Um, yeah. Like, bring in, like, Explosives, Static Caster. Um, I don't want Pia either. I guess we want a Braids, which is another way to kill... I guess we can bring in, like, a Braid and a... Cell, uh, yeah, just a Braid's fun. To kill the creatures. And then we got to keep just keep some of these cards in. Um, I guess, yeah, unfortunately, our deck is not very well suited in this matchup. Like, I suppose Wall of Omens. Now, I think that Static Aster and Explosives is enough things to deal with, uh, Empty the Warrens. Um... Give me sugar. I guess we maybe we keep Jace. Water. Like Wall of Omens or Spreading Seas? What's better? Uh, sweet Robert, awesome. I mean, there's a cost of uh the deck, but. Wall omens or spreading. I guess wall is better because spreading sea is just like they're never, never gonna mana screw them. Reflector mage is like I never want to be in that spot really. I guess PMP is better than reflector mage. Wait, no, like this. These stay in the deck. These go here. Something like that, I guess. 
That's, that's 57. I'm bad at math. All right, we'll leave in... Oh, the walls, right? One, two, three. I guess we'll do this. I'm not really sure, honestly. Matchup's pretty bad. With no path, seeds can be okay. I mean, like, they just have so many red sources. Like, they only need one red source to get going anyway. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Why did I leave spreading season? We gotta keep this, so... We got him turn four. Theoretically. Yeah, but but the thing is that there's just, we have other answers to mana creatures that isn't path. So those are much better, you know? Alright, we'll keep. We got a top. We got a top. It's painful. We should I draw that white source? Right, Burnsy? Right, Burnsy? One white source. See your ambitions. They go top, top. I think we're in trouble. Just, just throwing that out there. Okay, so no mana creature is good. Because we don't have an answer to it, obviously. Um, and now no remand is also good. So now we can slam Sahili. Um, that scry was also top top. They might turn three us here, but we're definitely just casting Sahili. So if they turn three us, God bless them. Uh, we'll bottom the third wall of omens in our deck. We border one out, so we draw it next turn. Definite scry bug. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. What part of South Carolina? I'll be moving to Bluffton, South Carolina in July. Nicole and I purchased the house, and uh, it's actually a few months ago. Fixer Upper, we've been working on it. I'm going down to work on it. I think I'm skipping SEG Atlanta. I uh, didn't really get a team together, haven't had a lot of time. So, um,. I'm going to go down and work on the house that weekend, I think. So, more work to do. House is coming along. We'll be, we'll be actually moving into it in July. So, this this whole year has been absolutely insane. Um, but, it's coming along. It's coming along. That's a somewhat peculiar play. I don't see what the benefit is of getting Sahili down to two. Planes. Oh. Oh, hammer don't hurt him. Burnsy. Flicker. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We flicker, right? Whatever. Flicker that. Uh, let me just actually do this combo, right? So we make a token. This targets this. We can auto yield and always yes. Yeah. All right. I mean, they Serum Vision top, top, Serum Vision top, top. I didn't think we had a chance to win that game. That's the power of having a, having a two-card combo on your deck, though. Sometimes you just win. So now we're on the draw. Yeah, this is still fine. I'm going to leave it as is. Sweet. The fact that three 13 and 2s didn't top 8 is another sign that GPs suck. Yeah. I'll say. This hand is awkward, but somewhat workable. Like, we have our blue spell for the first creature. We have a cantrip. We have a counter for gifts ungiven. We have an answer to an early empty. Jace is just kind of here hanging out. We're going to keep. Tap land, go. Not usually a good sign. No cantrip often means they're rolled up pretty good. I would say that drawing relic here is pretty good. I'm gonna. I should have played an island probably. That was dumb. Whatever. Sure. Abrade? I think we're gonna abrade here. 
very low chance they kill us next turn. And it's more mana efficient for future turns. I can go wall into bolt or wall into dispel. If they kill us, we'll just say we deserved it. Like, they have to have land, mana creature, and a bunch of rituals, and a payoff. I mean, they, they didn't go cantrip turn one, so it's possible they kill us here. No? All right, cool. Cool. Everything worked out reasonably well for us. So now we get to play Wall of Omens. Snapcaster is pretty good. Now we have Bolt and Dispel. This is all pretty good. And Relic, obviously. Manamorphose. You got it. And they go for a small, like, co mini combo empty, obviously. It's very good for us. So, beginning of combat, eh? Opponent is uh, bricking off pretty hard here. I'm not going to lie. Flooded Strands. So we could play Jace here. That does not seem like a good idea to me. Because we could just die. Maybe we need to wait for one more mana. Um, so we're just going to ship a turn. Feeling pretty good, though. Alright, so looks like Gifts Ungiven. We have Dispel ready to roll, which is nice. Get a Hollow Fountain here, I suppose. Hmm. Alright, I think we're going to ship. We can't really afford to play a 4 mana sorcery speed threat with, it, with the interaction that's in our hand. Let's say go. Play the waiting game. It's fine with me. Cool. Blade Splicer. So... I have a full 7 cards. I might, just wanna, I might still want to wait, I think. Um, they have end step gifts lined up, so if I tap down for Blade Splicer and they cast it, we counter it, they might be able to kill us on the untap, so I think we're just going to wait. Adam asks, so I think people will play more Stony Silences to fight KCI. I mean, Affinity also did really well at the Grand Prix, so more Stonies is probably in order. Alright, they're going to discard, that's pretty sweet for us. I'm more than happy to play this game. We could bolt snap bolt him. Um, it's our only answer to a, a, a mana creature though, so we'll see uh, we draw, what we draw here. If we draw a land, that's obviously an awkward land. All right, so we're just gonna keep playing the slow game, I think. There's definitely a world where we bolt snap bolt, but I, I don't know. Honestly. Can also use this dispel defensively if we uh, can set up our combo. Like, we're playing Blade Spicer next turn for sure. So, yeah, we're fine. There's no reason to to use our... Now, now we drew a second bolt. Now I kind of wish I did, obviously, but this is fine. They have remand here. It's like a little annoying. Um, okay. Um, now, I guess we're just going to play this explosives on zero rather than discard. It obviously lets them know we have it, but I think it's better than discarding. So, yeah. Doesn't seem like they're really interested in going for uh, an empty anyway. I believe now we are going to fire off an end step bolt. Because um, we already have another one. Yeah. They have eight cards in hand. Okay. First blood. They discard again. Discard a gifts ungiven. They are really playing conservatively. Um, we're 
just gonna rock this uh, this blade splicer. They have remand again. It's whatever. Put a little power in play. We have dispel bolt. We still have relic up. All right, so they could have a dispel here. It's kind of a tilt. Maybe. Hmm. All right, so they dispel back. This isn't even that bad though, because like with the relic in play, their gift just isn't that good. Like, I guess we're at 14, they don't need to assemble that much to kill us. Maybe once... I still think playing felt Blade Splicer was probably right. Like, if you leave a, leave a Snapcaster there, things are obviously much better for us. But, I don't know. I'm not sure, honestly. Like, getting something in play is, like, pretty paramount, given that we're playing this sort of waiting game. So, what's up, Sane? Uh, we're in game three. We lost game one comically because we don't interact in any meaningful way. And then game two we won somehow. And now we're battling. So, two creatures. Ritual, ritual. I think I want to give them the creatures. Um, we have a bolt. Like, so the fear is they need to, if they can hit critical mass without using the graveyard... That's a problem. Um, hmm. Our only interaction right now is our relic and our bolt. Even if we, I mean, if we, we give them a creature, they just like cast the rituals in response to us bolting, which is kind of annoying. Um, we can't really do much in that regard. If we give them the rituals. They'll have seven cards in hand. They they probably need to chain together some sort of like. Rituals into a grape shot, into a, a remand grape shot again. Um, the dudes are yeah, it's probably just the dudes. Because the dudes, you can't reduce the cost of the dudes, and they don't. The second dude is kind of redundant, so I I don't think we're gonna try and actually kill one of the dudes if they if they play it and start to go off because we're just gonna add a storm count, but sleight of hand, sure. Like, if he gets on tap here, I think we're in pretty good shape. Once we have Snap Dispel available. Relic is very good against this deck, so. What's up, Lord Draken? What's up, my friends? If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. We're playing Dan Jessup's Jess Guy Sahili deck from GP Hartford. We're trying to Sahili Feldar Guardians and people in Modern. And uh, it's working out pretty well so far. All right, yes, now we're going to fire us off. Could I have another Gifts. Hmm. Actually, maybe we wait. They have another Gifts we can snap Dispel. So Bolt, Snap, Dispel, 2 mana up. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Cool. Could Feldar Guardian our Blade Splicer here, but I want to leave Snap Dispel up at this point, so we're just going to chill. But yeah, if you're tuning in, welcome, welcome. Make sure you follow the stream if you haven't followed already. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there as well. Alright. Alright, we're now winning. Thanks, Lord Draken. Current record is 0-0. Zero and zero. We are in Game 3 of our first match. I don't know why the, um, the status bar thing isn't working anymore. The MTG bot overlay. Used to work. Used to be right, right below me. I don't know why it's not working. Alright, so there's Brawl. 
All right, so they're going for something. Ritual. Sure. They have four cards in hand. Gifts ungiven. So... They have a dispel or something. It's a remand. It's kind of annoying, but I think we, we I think we got a snap. Uh, hmm. So what what are we scared of? We're scared of storm count is what two? We're gonna add two to the storm count with our snapcaster dispel. We're scared of this not really mattering. And then just casting a few rituals and a metamorphos or two. Then grape shot remanding it. That's a pretty tall order, I think. We're just gonna snap this. This is this is worth two spells anyway. So. Thanks for following, my friend. Wookiees don't live on Endor. We have added two to the storm count. Which is not good, but gifts on given will give them two spells anyway, so it's the same thing, kind of. Disaster here is them having a, uh, I suppose a rem I guess if they have to use the remand here, we're probably fine. They have a dispel. It's not great. I don't know. We'll see what happens. What's up, Edward? Thanks for hosting. At this point, we're basically just chilling. Nowhere. Shattering spree? That's a thing. Nowhere. What's up, my friend? New sub. Second sub of the stream. Everyone show some love in chat. Uh, nowhere. What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name, where are you from, and what do you want to name Nicole's puppy? If we get 1,000 subs, I told Nicole up that we would get a puppy. So, thank you for uh, putting in on that. Current frontrunner for the puppy's name is Karn. Okay. We only have two cards left. Um, do they have the remand? 7 and 7 is 14. They do. Alright. Um, so, like... If the gifts resolved, it was two spells anyway. It's possible we should have just let it resolve and then save the dispel for this possible remand because this was their path to victory we were talking about. So, like, we said this earlier, they're probably going to win through critical mass plus remand plus grape shot. So, given that their last two cards are remand and grape shot, like, if we had just waited, given them bad cards off of um, the gifts ungiven, maybe that's better. Like, we're going to fire off our our relic here and try and get lucky, but... Burnsy. Burnsy, we didn't deserve that. Burnsy, come on now. Burnsy. Are you cheating? Is Burnsy hacking back there again? Easy game. Easy game. So yeah, I think we played badly there and got lucky and won anyway. I think maybe we let the Gifts Ungiven resolve. Because the Gifts Ungiven is just a draw too. Um, so I think that was a misplay and then getting really, really lucky. Sometimes, uh, you know, don't get, you don't get punished for your mistakes. Um, yeah, because as we literally said it beforehand, that the only way we're going to lose is Reman Grape Shot. So the Gifts Ungiven being a draw too is like kind of irrelevant. Um, so yeah. Oopsie. Nowhere is Zach from New Hampshire uh, playing seven years. If your card is Creator Hoof Behemoth. If your deck is currently Bridgevine. Cool. And Karn gets your vote. Zach, thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. Once again, huge thanks to all my subscribers. This is what I do full-time. This is my full-time gig. I write articles for StarCityGames.com. I stream here on Twitch and on YouTube. I put, put the videos up. Um, I do... I play tournaments for Team BCW. I do some coaching. Um, full-time Magic player. It's my full-time gig. It's high. How I pay the bills and support myself and my family. So every sub, every donation, every person who reads my articles, everything. All you guys are are it. So thank you guys so, so much. I could not do this without you guys. And I'm very, very lucky and very, very happy with um, with what we're able to do here. So thank you, thank you, thank you once again. And uh, when you sub, don't forget you also get access to all my cool emotes. You can see those in chat. Um, no ads is a big one. No advertisements. And access to my 
private Discord chat server for subs only. Information on that is in chat. If you're an Amazon Prime user, you're also a Twitch Prime user, you get a free sub every month, you should use it here. Can I help you? A Jello box for Burnsy. Oh, Burnsy loves these. Burnsy, use your dispel here. I have a Jello box. Burnsy is sponsored by Jello. Go, Burnsy. You give a gerbil a box and he's the happiest person in the world. Look at him. Look how happy he is. Alright. Uh, yeah, you can keep this. On the play with Spreading Seas? Awesome. Basically a cantrip stone rain. Alright. Uh, I'm going to leave it on island. Blade Splicer, Serum Visions. I'm cool with both these cards. Nice little curve here. Uh oh. Nice spreading seas. Need some more of those. You used to call me on my. Uh, Alright, so. Spreading seas is good, obviously. Looks like we're just on a on the beatdown plan for the most part here. We draw our serum visions. Next time we go splicer into Feldar Guardian copy. I guess. We'll see. We'll see. Snow covered lands are the best lands. Yes, yes, yes. Modern Super League? I have no idea. But someone's got to call somebody and get me on that, you know? I was a little upset that Todd got on the on the Brew Crew whatever team. And we didn't have a team BCW team in that. Next time, we got to call somebody. Randy Bueller, what's up? Give me a call. If you want to see me in the uh, Modern Super League or any of those Super Leagues... Please go on Twitter and tweet at Randy Bueller. Be like, hey, we want to see Jim Davis in one of these things. Jim Davis and Burnsy. So. Lord Dragon says, can you see that Wizards is changing the printing of their cards, upgrading quality? I saw something about that. Yeah, it's cool. And name is Carrot Slat. Have you seen the hardened scales list? In my opinion, it's more resilient and just as fast as Affinity. Wins out of nowhere. I tried an old version of that deck a long time ago. Um... The new version seems interesting. I might stream it at some point. Guardian can move the seas. That is true. Alright. Blade Splicer beats. Yeah, Urgis Burnsy is even better. Honestly, you know what? Forget about me. Everyone should tweet at Randy Bueller and be like, we need to have Burnsy on Super League. Right, Burnsy? How's it going, bud? He's having a great time. He doesn't even care. Great time. He loves it. Happy Burnsy. Let's see. That's true. I mean, Burnsy, Burnsy likes, likes doing charity work. Right, Burnsy? He might do it, uh, you know... Uh, pro bono. Right, Burnsy? I hope he looks at the camera. It's great. He just knows you're there. Alright, they have Tron. Um, Blade Splicer. So we're looking for a Feldar, I mean, a Sahili, obviously. Um, we're just going to see our missions. Colonnade, Reflector Mage, Serum Visions. I guess we bottom and top the visions and just try and uh, keep trying to find our Sahili. Five or four cheers for Car and the doggy. Yes, there is a, a Zorgling in Burnsy's cage. I do play StarCraft occasionally. And Burnsy's a gerbil, yes. Thanks for following Rouse the Mouse. If you haven't followed, just hit that follow button. God damn it. Alright, so if their play isn't good this turn, we can move Spreading Seas over with Feldar Guardian. But I imagine whatever they play here is going to kill us. I guess Karn isn't even that good right now, right? 
O stone is good. That is a really good one. Yeah, all right. Um, I'd say we're in trouble. If they have like worm coils and not Ulamog, maybe we're okay, but we're probably dead here. I guess we... I feel like we felled our guardian in our own land. Cast Serum Visions, play Colonnade, and just pray. Um, we play Visions. Get Ulamog. I guess Ulamog isn't even like the end of the world. Maybe we just want to hold on to our Feldar Guardian, try and hide it, and maybe get them all in one turn. Yeah. Boo-tron! Thanks for following, Boar. Feldar Guardian, Wall of Omens. Those cards don't really help. Uh, Scalding Tarn. Can cast a Feldar Guardian, but doesn't really do anything. Go for the combo? What? Where? What combo? <laughs> We're trying. We don't got it yet. I mean, if, if Sahili is our top card and they don't Ulamog us, we win, right? Yeah, I'd say we're a little lacking in this matchup, too. Um, we did get lucky and beat Storm, which seemed like a bad matchup. This matchup also seems bad. Good God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. I mean, do they have nothing else? Might be right here. Dump truck. Resub. Heck yeah. Thanks, Dump Truck. Appreciate that. Dump Truck is currently our cheer leader with 1,000 cheers. And they're doing some sort of like, uh, how do they take the planes? Some sort of like cheer thing now, or like cheers or bits are on sale or something. Check that out. We can rebuild. Maybe. If they have all air. Dump Truck, number one cheer champion. Damn it. All right, well, chip in a chair. I should have fetched, eh, whatever. I think we're actually just going to scribe bottom. Um, because I don't want them to think that we're rolled up. And maybe they play like Worm Coil over O Stone or something. I'm just going to bottom this. Like, they can't get the line of our hand anyway. Like, the second Veldar Guard doesn't do anything. They either kill Sahili or kill our lands and we lose. Or they play some sort of other threat. So... Let's make them think we don't have it, hopefully. Maybe they go for a Worm Coil, or... I don't even know. I'm just... I'm, I'm reaching for straws here. Uh, we have no Field of Ruins. We only have Spreading Seas. This seems like a bad matchup, honestly. Our sideboard has... some rejections and basically nothing. So... War Dog, for sure. Right, Burnsy? Happy Burnsy. Oh, God. They just have everything. They have World Breaker bottoming Sahili. I mean, bottoming Fellow Guardian makes sense too, so. We did beat Storm. We uh, we pulled it off. We got a little lucky, but yeah, alright. Is Jeskai Beach Breach more consistent and harder to disrupt? It's just different. It's a different deck. I mean, the Jeskai Breach deck, the combo pieces are all blank. This deck, Feldar Guardian's a, a fine card. Sahili's a fine card. In the in that deck, like you draw Emmer Cool and you're unhappy, you know. So this is a better fair deck for sure. I would say that deck's my better unfair deck. Probably better in these sorts of matchups. 
but definitely more in inconsistent overall, I think. My pick to win the Stanley Cup, I'm hoping for a Vegas Golden Knights Tampa Bay Lightning final with Tampa Bay winning. I'm a Rangers fan. If Tampa Bay wins, we traded a second round pick for uh from them. It, it becomes a first round pick. So Lord Draken. Bits, 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 bits. Ulamog is in hand. Alright, so if we draw land here, we win. Burnsy, let's do this. I scared Burnsy. Come on. No colonnade. No colonnade, please. <sighs> All right. All right. Stupid Tron opponent. We almost won that game, too, which is the sick part. No penguins. I hate the penguins. All right. So, rejections. Negates, I suppose. Um... We're cutting the Wall of Omens. Well, a lot of our cards kind of suck here, honestly. We just have a lot of, like, more fair cards in our deck, and they just don't line up well against Tron or Storm so far. Um, a Braid. We're on the draw. We can't kill a map before they use it. Um, spells and do anything. Mostly just want negate and rejection. We're really, we're kind of reaching here. I don't want these paths. Um, I don't really, I don't think we care about Worm Coil Engine, really. I don't want the bolts either, though. I guess we just, like, I definitely don't want Reflector Mage. That, one, that one's really easy. Um, I guess we keep the walls, they just cycle anyway. And Jace is atrocious. Maybe P has, like, an okay threat. We cut, like, two paths, I guess. This is pretty rough. Not a lot to do here. Hmm. A braid on O-Stone? That is reaching. That is definitely reaching. Um... I mean, I guess a braid does... An Maybe answering O-Stone is actually fine, because if they leave it in play, we can't combo. It's a way to kind of, like, break that up, I suppose. Um, Maybe just better than... Like, P and Cure and Nalar is terrible. Sure, I'll buy it. We're racing the combo. If we don't combo, we probably can't win. Maybe Blade Spicer Beats gets there, but probably not, so... Well, we're on the... Oh, we are on the play. Duh. I thought we were on the draw for some reason. Yeah. A braid's definitely in, so. Uh, Stony Silence would, would be good in the sideboard. Um, the sideboard seems a little weak against both Storm and Tron. Tron, I mean, Storm's, like, okay, but Tron, we're really lacking in stuff. Aside from Spreading Seas, so. Uh, nope. It's the Golden Knights' first season, which is very exciting, because they are, they are an exciting young team. All right, and we can keep this. We have half our combo, double serum visions. Pony mulligans at the start. Pony mulligans the five. Essentially guarantees turn three Karn. All right, so we're looking for Sahili or Spreading Seas. We did beat Storm somehow. Negate, Snapcaster, Rejection. We kind of just need lands, so I'm going to bottom both of these. Rejection's obviously fine, but we're just casting Serum Visions. I should we're casting Feldar Guard? I mean, uh, Wall Omens next turn? Yeah, sounds like we could use that new Anti-Tron, Anti-Storm card. Yeah, that would be good. That's not bad. I could, uh, that plays. A little Spreading Seas action. I'm cool with that. I'll buy that. No star, no map, no sphere is a little concerning. It means their hands all Tron pieces and big stuff, probably, but.
Well, like all your help didn't actually matter, but it was a, it was a good play though. Ghost Quarter, wow. It is turn two, and our opponent has zero Tron lands in play. That's a good deal for us. I think we got this game. Rejection. All right, so we'll, we're basically bottoming any non Sahili card, honestly. This is going to be a pretty aggro scry deck. All right. Opponent has one Tron land in play. They've done it. They could have Dismember, too, actually, which is kind of a tilt, but. Um. We have Negate. Yes, please. Draw a card, please. We'll be able to Sahili negate. That pause makes me think they have a dismember, and they were, were deciding if they wanted to do it or not. Maybe also they were considering ghost quartering themselves for green mana. It's definitely possible too. All right, I mean, there are a few land drops away from doing some serious damage here, so. They search for a power plant. All right, I mean, they're almost there. We have Negate Rejection. Blade Splicer. So... They Tron next turn, they have nine mana. So nothing, they can't, we can reject basically everything for nine mana. Yeah, we're just gonna fell our Guardian, Flicker, Wall of draw another card and leave up rejection and just try and find this damn Sahili. Falling turn. All right. All right. I mean, we're trying. Double Urza's mine. Okay. O stone. Thought not seer. That's an awkward one. We do have Path to Exile, but I don't want to give them a green, honestly. I think we're going to reject this. We have Negate for Karn. Alright, Sahili? Come on! We are trying, all right? We're trying our best here. We've been set up for a while. Cannot find the Sahili. I didn't even take a Jace at this point, honestly. Kind of wanted to save his negate for a dismember, but at this point, uh, they have Tron, you know, we're kind of in trouble. All right, so they're ghost quartering that, going for the green. If they Sylvan Scrying, Ancient Stirrings. It's more, oh no, a Pithing Needle? That's gotta be negated. We can't, we can't allow that to happen.
Sanitarium. Sanitarium. How many lands left? That's good. All right. Sahili. Spreading seas. That's not bad. That's not bad, actually. I'll buy that. Darth Juggalo, I appreciate that. Thank you. Tell your wife to say hi to Burnsy. Everyone loves a good Burnsy. It's, that's not a bad draw. So we have a... Uh, whatever. They probably Sanitarium. You can, you can draw more cards. We have Snap, Negate, or Rejection. We could Snap Serum Visions. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to Snap Serum Visions. Um, it's very unlikely they can present an actual threat next turn because they have no Tron lands. Um, snapping Serum Visions puts an extra extra body in play and gives us a lot of looks at a possible Sahili. Yeah, I think I'm going to snap Serum Visions. Yeah, I'm the best TV available. Where on TV can you watch a man and his gerbil play Magic the Gathering? You tell me. Ooh, there it is. All right. Bottom, top. We are rolled up. We can even be a dismember. No sanitarium. Stirrings. We beat basically everything here, I think. Double dismember will get us. Double dismember would get us for sure. I think on turn five, it have played Blade Splicer. I mean, at, at the, sure, now the game's gone on much longer, but at the time, I think we're much more con concerned with finding the combo than trying to beat down. So, uh, Dan went 10 and five. Double Dismember does deal 8 to them. That is true. So that would kill them. So I believe they have no outs. That is my belief. Beliefs are dangerous. Or Dan's 5's losses. He said he lost to a lot of Reman decks. Alright, so we got that one. Um... Put a mulligan to five. I mean, our hand was kind of awkward. It took us a while to find Sahili, but it's fine. We'll take it. We'll take it. Double Warping Whale. That does work, actually. That is fair. That does work. Wait, they didn't have Tron, right? They only had two mana up. Ugh. So it looks like me, uh, me, Dan, and Andrew will be getting the band back together for SCG Baltimore. The three of us are going to team for the team event in Baltimore. Uh, seats are undecided. It's also looking like I'm not going to go to SCG Atlanta, which is uh, in two weeks. Um, just didn't really work out. I have too much too much work to do on the house. There's, there's not enough weekends in the in the year, basically. And um, new house has got to get done before July. So I think I'm going to go down and uh, work on the house that weekend. I'm also going to be stopping in Roanoke on the way up to record another Versus video. Let's check that out. And a little something else special. So that's going to be cool. Hope to also play some golf with uh, with Todd Stevens and Ross Merriam. And uh, that should be fun. This hand's pretty bad. And then, yeah, then Baltimore is going to be the next event with Dan and Andrew. And then after that's a, a singular modern open in Louisville, I think, or something. So a few events coming up. Like I said, I'm not going to go to Atlanta. Kind of stinks, but it is what it is. Um, we got to ship this hand. This hand doesn't really do anything. This is a spreading seas I would keep, but as is, no. All right. I mean, I... so bad. Uh... We're on the draw with a scry. Problem is, even if we find Feldar Guardian, like, they do stuff faster than we do stuff. So, like, if we had a Spreading Seas or some sort of interaction, like, a Braid doesn't really interact. Or 
old installation up to standard. We didn't have to do that really. Um, mostly it was just like clean up. We had a lot of like like some some molds in the baseboards and like some some like cockroach poop and stuff. We had to clean up. We had to cut out the bottom of the boards. I'll show pictures later if you guys want. But um, it's mostly the the catch twenty twos that arise. Dan, should I keep remulliging this? Where like you want to work on one project, but you can't do that until you do this project. But that project can't be done until you do this project. But that project can't be done until the original project is done. Like, want to tile the floors, can't do that until the tub is in. Can't put the tub in until the plumbing is in. Can't do the plumbing until you tile the floors, etc., etc. That's the biggest problem I'm having, so. Pun kept seven, yeah. I have a picture of cockroach poop if you want to see it. It's kind of gross. I feel like... Uh, this hand's, yeah, I mean, we definitely... Obviously, any good hand they have, we lose to here. Assuming we don't find something good. We don't even have... Like, like if this was like... Sahili filled our guardian four lens. We probably keep, but Dan says keep. All right, yeah, I'm I'm fine with it. If you guys want to see cockroach poop, I'll show it to you. Wall of omens is just a redraw. We're gonna bottom that. We could obviously Sahili the wall, but like that's really slow. Yeah, they're called like palmetto bugs. Turn one forest is actually great for us. That means they can't do anything until turn four. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, Dan went 10 and 5. All right, so a bottom card is a wall of omens, so shuffling is not really that necessary. All right, let me show you guys some pictures of uh, cockroach poop in the house and stuff. Well, more importantly, these were Nicole and I's seats at the Hartford Wolfpack game, uh, Friday in Hartford. Check this out. This is a, the view from our seats. I took this video. We were right on the glass, first row. Isn't that awesome? Sweet. But um, yeah, let me show you guys cockroach poop. I know everyone wants to see cockroach poop. You're just dying to see it. So, it was stuff like this. So inside the walls, like that. So there weren't any actual live cockroaches, really, but the walls facing the outside where there was trees and stuff, there was a lot of crap like that inside the walls. So we had to cut out all the walls, and you can see that, like... That's what's already done. Where are the pictures pre wall There we go. So we had to like cut out the bottom of the walls, you can see, and clean everything out. We bleached it and cleaned it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. A lot of work. A lot of work. Kind of gross, but that's a tilt. We have a braid though, so it's fine. All right. So they have taken a slower approach. Um, they stirring for needle. They have one Tron land. We have an abrade to answer it, which is nice. So we don't have much else. So Zuno. Resub. What's up, Zuno? Yeah, it's all, it was a lot. It was really, it was kind of gross. So we had to vacuum it all out. I sealed it all up with a sealant. Um, yeah, it's done. It is what it is. But I guess we're just gonna end step a braid our turn Sahili and try and set up. They can't. They can't do much till turn four here. They search for power plant, they played it. Yeah, we're just gonna upgrade. Let's just get a basic here. Basic island seems fun. A braid coming through. I mean, I guess we're Slightly increasing our chances of drawing stuff. All right, Sahili, show me Feldar Guardian, or show me death. Um, that's a lot of looks. Like we're we're guaranteeing we can't get lucky next turn. But we're getting a lot of looks. We also get a shot of 
trying to get a spreading seize. Well, that might not be fast enough. I'm going to top this. I don't want to leave us on one draw step. I'm going to do it. If they have a car in here or something, God bless them. We can't really do much about it. They did search for a power plant and played it. They did go turn one forest. So, all right. Sanitarium. Sweet. So, Thought Not Seer. Okay. This is fine. I guess. Maybe not fine. Is Nessa Healy's in trouble? This is all right, though. We can we can work with this. Our hand's obviously terrible, but we get to strive with Sahili, then cast Serum Visions. All right, so bottom that, obviously. Serum Visions. Double land, obviously. Bottom, bottom. Island Spreading Seas. They search for Power Plant. I guess we'll do that one. Another Sahili. That's not bad. It's not good, but... Yeah, trying to be luckier when you're Tron opponent is not necessarily a good idea, you know? I've, I've heard of better plans. Alright, Sahili goes to one. So Healy's still kicking. Opponent's way far from Tron. There's the replacement power plant. And an Oblivion Stone. Okay. Feldar Guardian. God, we suck at this. Um, I don't want to shuffle because we have a bunch of crap cards in the bottom of our deck, so... Lightning Bolt. Mm, bottom. Now the question becomes, we can't play others to heal it because they can just kill it with one shot. Alright, I mean, this game's kind of silly. Oblivion Stone definitely complicates things. Although it would kill their Thought Knots here, but it would stop us from winning. So, another forest. I just want them to activate Sanitarium so bad. Snapcaster is not a bad draw, I guess. Another brave. We gotta kill this Oblivion Stone. We can't go off with it in play. Ugh. Them getting that path is kind of annoying. Hey, Blast, want to hear Thanks for following, Brian. If you haven't followed the stream, make sure hit that follow button, of course. If you're watching on YouTube, you can follow on there as well. I guess they can, they can, fate, they can fate their thingy. Ceremonious Rejection. All right. Tilt. No fate counter. It's interesting. I'm not really sure what they're playing around there. Like, if we kill it in response, that doesn't really matter. We could just kill it now. Anyway, we have no permanence in play, so that's a little weird. All right, this is what it is, though. Slush Joe Colonnade. I guess that could be worse, right? Like, that blocks Thought Knots here. Why ever Snow Covered lands him a deck? You figure it out. Look at these things. Alright, take four. Colonnade can block now, so like... It does kind of stop Thought Knots here. Although we are still... At the mercy of many things. That's a bad one. Another Thought Not Seer? Ugh. 
Yeah, I'm trolling you. The answer is why not, basically, because they're cool. I like them. They chose to not cast... They are... That makes sense, I guess. That's a pretty smart play. All right. Huh. Lightning Bolt. All right. I mean, now we just leave up Klaonod to block Thawnots here. And... We're going to have to shuffle all that crap into our deck again, unfortunately. But... It's better than dying. Without Tron, they're committing to leaving five mana up every turn. Alright, they're going for it. So let's uh let's go for it back, I guess. Snow covered mountain. The best mountain. Do you have dismember? Yes. You do have Dismember. Tilt. Alright. Um, Snapcaster Mage looking real good right now. I, I take a Wall of Omens. <laughs> Thanks for following, Lord. I am Lord. This has been a very, very weird game. I'm not going to lie. This is our game three against Tron. We, we won round one against Storm somehow. Tron seems like an even worse matchup than Storm. But we won game two. We're trying to win game three. Yeah, we're going to add to the... Uh... Ah, crap. There we go. 10-5 was his record. All right, end step. I guess we're gonna fetch. No, we don't fetch. Let me get a, let me get a one, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Feldar Guardian. So the problem is like we could just go for it and make them. Make them pop the O stone. Let me lose both pieces. Is there a way to like make them? We could play Feldar Guardian, block, deal one to it, and then bolt it. I guess they have another Thought Not Seer in their hand, but it's probably what we want to do. Then if they pull blow the O stone, we can't win because we go to one. Flicker spreading seas onto their tower. Yeah. It does draw a card. Ugh. This is kind of gross. I have to fetch a duel too, so I got this mountain. Oh, I've I've, I've found your blade. Never mind. I, I thought I had three fetch lands. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll do that. I guess. You draw a path too, I guess. Drawing path would be nice. A second bolt. All right, that's a thing. Um, We bolt, bolt. Yeah, it's... Alright, so now they're going to go for the fate counter, it looks like, and go for the kill. It's not really a kill, I guess, but... Let's see what they do. Whatever. They've been a lot... We're not expect to play like a 50-minute a match against Tron here. They have six minutes left, we have nine minutes left.
If we bolt, bolt. Yeah, we're just gonna block and end step bolt, I think. They cast another, if they cast another Seer, we have Rejection. And then we have Bolt this. And then we actually have a chance to win. So if they cast Seer, they can't O-Stone. Like, we're actually in pretty good shape here. I mean, good shape is relative, I suppose. But we're in okay shape. We're in, we're in alive, doing stuff kind of shape. We're not dead. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> They're just saying go. All right. So we're going to... We got to crack these fetch lands. And go to three. Probably? We do have a Jace in our deck, but like, I need this mana anyway. Eh, I guess we'll, we'll wait. All right, draw a card. Flooded Strand. It's always Flooded Strand. Serum Visions. I think I want to... Healy, Bolt, Rejection. Yeah, we're going to fetch and go to four, I guess. Maybe I should have fetched on the end step. Fountain, Steam Vents, Serum Visions. God damn it. We are drawing, like, total poo. I should cast the Healy first. I'm an idiot. I'm dumb. I screwed up. All right, whatever. Obviously cast the Healy first, then Scry, then cast Serum Visions. Stupid. Not smart. Never said I was smart. So they have a they have five mana or six mana, and they have a thought not seer in their hand, and then a bunch of cards we don't know about. They just pop pop the O stone. All right. We have rejection for thought not seer. They don't have Tron yet. Now they have Tron. Crap. All right. All right. Our Tron opponent is going to time out on us. Can I get some clocks in chat, please? This is Ulmog. God damn it. No? Yes? Emrakul, the promised end. They gain control of our next turn. We probably can't win. Um, I guess we get a turn after that. All right. Drawing Serum Visions. Yeah, all right. Oh, I get Fetch Shock. No. Oh, thank God. Fetch Shock and then Fetch would kill us. So we have to Fetch here in response. So three, oh, it, oh yeah, that's, they have enough anyway. All right, yeah, we're dead. Maybe they won't see it. It doesn't matter either way. It's fetch shock, fetch shock, tilt. Tilt! That's so lame. What a lame way to go. Fail the find? Fetch failed to find. They got us. Wall Omens draw a card. I was going to draw a bolt here and just bolt us. This is great. I saw. I thought I saw a steam vents in there. I'm pretty sure we have a. St yeah, there's definitely a steam vents in there. They could have gotten. God damn it.
so sick. They decline to kill us their fetch land, and they just draw, and they play Wall of Omens, so we can draw a card, and they just draw Snapcaster Mage to snap bolt us. Perhaps today is a good day to die. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. These Tron players these days. Oh, these Tron players. They lightning bolted the Snapcaster Mage. Tron players these days, you know? We're still going to lose this game. Um, but at least it's happening like this, alright? Ulamog revealed, sure. If they leave Wall of Omens in play, we could still win. Felt like already in Flicker Wall Wall of Omens draw draw whatever. All right, now I think we don't have any outs left. Um, who knows what our opponent is doing? Blade Splicer. I'm gonna keep playing though because they. Who knows what they're gonna do next? So we'll just keep playing. Ain't dead yet. End step, tap for blue. It's more mana efficient to sack your stars on the end of turn than to wait for your turn. Nature's Claim, targeting Golem. They have Dismember too. Nope. Seven. Karn. Okay. Well... You know what, folks? Looks like they got us. That was ridiculous. All right, if you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. <laughs> My name's June Davis. Uh, don't know what to say about that one, but um, here we are. We're playing Dan Jessup's uh, 10 and 5 Just Guys to Healy deck from uh, GP Hartford. And, um,. <laughs> We beat Storm in round one. It seemed like a tough matchup. And uh, we, we just lost to Tron in round two. That seems like an atrocious matchup. But um, deck's pretty sweet. Obviously based around the Feldar guardian Sahili rai combo. We got some Spreading Seas and Wall of Omens. Basically our Sahili and our Feldar guardian do a lot more stuff than just combo. We can Flicker Blade Splicer or Wall of Omens or Spreading Seas. We can copy Wall of Omens. We can copy Blade Splicer, etc., etc. So, um... Deck's pretty sweet. Obviously, Path, Bolt, Vision, Snap, the usual stuff. Spreading Seas, very good. So, um, we're 1-1. One one. Uh, don't know about that last one, which lost to a pretty weird, uh, pretty weird Tron opponent. It was just, uh, I don't know, maybe that, I guess that Tron opponent had never, had never played Burn before, because they uh, just had no interest in, like, our life a little at all. <laughs> they could have fetched and shocked a duel to kill us, didn't do it. They could have, and then they snapped... And snap bolted the snapcaster. We were at two to kill us. Didn't do that. Um, and we lost anyway, obviously, because they're playing Tron and they had Tron. But yeah, I don't know. Don't know what to tell you. All right, we got turn four. Turn four kill here lined up. We're gonna keep this one. W were they BMing? Like they, if they already like they found the Ulamog off the stirring, so they didn't have it yet. Like. They could have lost that game for sure, you know? Like, it's pretty wild. It's pretty, pretty wild. All right, uh, yeah, we're going to keep his hand, obviously. I mean, it is a common thing where, like, if you're not locked into their life total, to just like, oh, boy, play the burn spell on a creature instead or whatever. All right. Tapland. A little annoying. I don't think our Hardened Scales Affinity opponent is going to have many ways to stop our combo, so. One and one. Hangerback Walker on two. Sweet. Alright, we're, uh... Let's play Hollowed Fountain here. Gotta draw an untapped land. That's not an untapped land.
Ballista does stop the combo. Ballista is good against us. That is very, very fair. Animation module. Whenever one or more counters is put on a permanent you control, you may pay one if you do create a servo. Okay. Hi, Super Nintendo Chomper. Thanks for following. Alright, there we go. Um Guess we're gonna plus. If we're gonna bottom that. So there you go. Ballista's a problem, I'm not gonna lie, but we can't really do much about it at this current time, so This does not look like the uh, the affinity deck that Ross Merriam wrote about like yesterday or whatever. Uh, animation modules, uh, it's an interesting one. Arcbound Ravager, okay. So if they had another mana, could have fired up Nexus and killed our Sahili with the Ravager. Nope, making a servo. Sounds good to me. All right, we're good. Well, I guess they have the Ravager can still kill the Sahili, right? They can just module to the servo. All right, that's bad. Maybe we are gonna lose. I mean, we can just set up to kill him in one turn. So next turn we can go like, I guess Blade Splicer Wall of Omen or Blade Splicer Colonnade and set up for a six mana, like just kill him on the spot. We can blink the hanger back. That is true actually. That's a pretty, that's a pretty sweet one, honestly. Say six, six servo. Holy crap. Yeah, that's, that's better actually. We just no. maybe we just failed our guardian this hangerback walker. Um and they'll have a six six in play and not much else. Give me sugar and water. And then we can bolt a ballista if it's boltable. I can't target their stuff. You trick me. You trick me. Alright. I got tricked. That's bad. Um, Alright. It's you control. Chat tricked me. Anyone who thinks chat is a, a benefit for a streamer is incorrect. Chat is a detriment at all times. <gasps> Welding jar. Alright. No ballista and we're fine. So, listening to chat in 2018. Unbelievable. That's my fault. I shouldn't have listened to chat. I take full responsibility for my actions. We probably have them anyway, so unless they have Ballista exactly, so. Throne of Geth, okay. They can't kill us, can they? This is, they have 14, right? Am I doing the math right here? Like, they proliferate, they sacrifice Welding Jar, add two counters to each, that's 14. LOLs. LOLs. Proliferate, sure. Probably sack this worthless animation module. This Welding Jar is fine, too. Yeah, I think, I think they're dead next turn. Make a servo. Whatever. All right, they're dead. We got them. Despite chat, despite chat's best efforts, we uh, we have emerged victorious in this matchup. Gonna make us do it? We'll do it. We know how to do it. We can we know how to execute our combo.
Oh, come on. I said always yes. God, I hate Magic Online. What's the shortcut for yes? Why? Gonna make us do it too. Unreal. Unreal rude. Do 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 John Stamos' older brother can't hit the high F. So you want the trigger on the doot and deuce? No, damn it, the ah! Loving you is easy because you're beautiful. A doot and doo woo! Ah! That enough yet? I'm not really counting. I'm just kind of in the zone right now. Not now, Chief. I'm in the fucking zone. 10, this looks like enough, right? I'm fine, I don't really care, whatever. 10, 10, 15, 21, 22, 19. They can't make any like secret servos, can they? Early South Park, you got it, that was the reference. South Park season one. It's on Hulu, go watch it. It's comedic genius. Not the played out South Park season 20, whatever they're on now. This feels like enough. Can't stop, won't stop. Gut shot, gut shot would have been nice. Very rude opponent making us making us go through the combo. Very rude opponent. Like it's a league for God's sakes, you know? It's not like it's, it's, not like it's a PD or something. Alright, so they're playing Affinity. Uh, weird Affinity. We're gonna want Explosives, Rejection... I guess that a caster? They have a hard scale, this doesn't do much. A uh, Braid... Something like that. Uh, we're 1-1. One one. We lost to a, a weird Tron player and we beat Storm. Um, I guess we're not interested in Jace. I guess we're... Honestly, most of these cards seem good. I don't think you want Anger. All those guys are really big. Like, I think the question becomes, do we want to just be a pure combo deck against them? Yeah, burn players are in too much of a rush, you know? Alright. What do I cut here? Like, do I want to just not even bother trying to, to beat them down? Seems pretty tough to beat them down. Maybe we just cut, like, this stuff. And maybe not even bother with Staticaster. Huh. Like Staticaster, Staticaster is pretty good. Like if they don't have hardened scales, like they're probably playing Memnite and stuff. I would think maybe they aren't. All right, whatever. Let's just do this. P is expensive though and clunky. 
Um, yeah, this seems fine, I guess. Yikes. Yikes. All right, I mean, we're rolled up here. I think we're on a bottom miss because all we need is lands. And yeah, I just want to draw lands. It's obviously fine with Snapcaster Mage, but like, I think I'm just purely in the market to draw as many lands as possible. If we keep this on top, we go like Steam Vents untapped go, I guess. And like, it looks pretty sketchy. Yeah, we should bottom this. Just want to draw lands. Animation module done. Mox Opal. Nothing. Oop. Forest. Hanger back. One one. Yeah, this is the kind of hand that we're pretty happy beating. Two one ones on turn two is like pretty comical. Colonnade is awkward. Um, I'm just gonna get island here. Rejection, also a little awkward. It's possible we just want to play Feldar Guardian and then play Sahili after, so they can't attack it. Next by Peak. Take a little looky loo. Stirrings, got it. Stirrings is really, really good. It's a little surprising Stirrings is still a legal card in modern. Arcbound Ravager. Okay. So don't have hardened scales also. No surprise there's, there's no Stony Silence in this sideboard. Stony Silence is good against these decks, good against uh, Tron. Sideboard, yeah, like Stony Silence seems pretty good. It does feel like our deck is like pretty good in fair matchups with like Blade Splicers and stuff, but not as good against the unfair strategies, and there are a lot of unfair strategies in modern right now. What's our opponent doing? I feel like our opponents have been slow today. While waiting for our opponent, I'm going to remind everyone to go on the old tweet sphere. Follow me on Twitter, at JimDavisMTG, for fun memes like this one. And then, of course, make sure you follow my squad, Team BCW, as well. Myself, Brennan, Todd, Tannen, and Ross, coming to uh, an SCG tour stop near you. And uh, follow on the YouTubes as well. Up, oh, they're back. They made Nissa. Nissa not as good without hardened scales. Wall of Omens. That's kind of awkward. Because I would like to play the wall. But if I do that, then I don't necessarily have Feldar Guardian next turn. I will have Rejection up, though. I think we're going to play the wall. We have two shots at a land. If we don't draw a land, it's not the end of the world. Path to Exile. All right. Also awkward. Have I teased Todd about the statements he made about Jace the Unbanned yet? I mean, I was kind of there too, honestly. I, I wasn't as doomsayery as Todd was, but I thought it was going to affect the format in a negative way, and it kind of hasn't, so I was kind of wrong too. Uh, I am still coaching. I am super inundated with students right now. I don't think I have time to get any more students on. You're welcome to message me, and I'll put you in like a, a waiting list kind of thing, but um, for now, I don't think I, I can take any more students. I don't have any, I don't have any time. Sweet. Oh no. 
All right, we have Path. This is fine. So Ballista obviously stops our combo, theoretically. So we got to Path that ASAP. But they have, they, have, they have nothing left here, though. They have to, like, minus Nissa and make some 2-2s. Two we have a Blocker. We have a... That's funny. We have a Blocker, and we have... Path to Exile, and so on and so forth. You should be all right. Does anyone else on BCW do coaching? I don't think so. Take three. Minusing Nissa next turn is kind of a beating, but... Celestial Colonnade. Tilt. All right, so... Yeah, we're just going to play Colonnade. Might, might be playing Snap, Snapcaster Mage to block here. Uh, if we need to. I think we're going to have to path the Ballista now before they can add counters to it. Yeah. Just play it safe. These Colonnades have been kind of awkward, I'm not going to lie. Numerous times we've, we'd like, we've wanted to play... Like, if I could have went Feldar Guardian, untap Foundry, path Ballista here... Would have been much happier. So, what's up, Brennan? Yeah, Brennan's currently uh, in a in a move. Got a sweet job in uh, Colorado doing some game design stuff. But maybe after that, he can get into it. I'm sure they'd all be somewhat interested. All right, so they get to like make four tokens here, also, which is kind of like whatever. We're just gonna chump, Feldar, draw. We'll see. And for the record, I didn't say Jace was going to kill Modern. I thought I was going to polarize it and put it in a not great spot. Honestly, in some ways, I was like sort of right. As I said that Jace would, would drop out the middle portion of the format and make it all super linear decks and like hardcore fast linear decks. Did you run another Nyssa? What a sicko. And then, um, what a sick draw. That was insane. All right. Now we're in trouble. Are we dead? Do you have two blocks? I don't know if we can win anymore. That was sick. Just throwing that out there. 4, 8, 12. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge tilt. I don't think we have any chance to win. I don't think we have any outs. Nope. All right. Kind of lame. I think we are fine without that Nissa because we can, we can. Then they only have three threes. We can block one with the wall. Block again next turn. Damn it, tilt. All right. Uh, I think I want Static Caster. Maybe not. They have Nissa too. Yeah, I'm gonna bring Static Caster in. I'm gonna cut. I think a Spreading Seas. It stops Nexus, but doesn't really do much otherwise. Op versus Serum Vision. Serum Vision is, is primarily better. Hmm. Yeah, Serum Vision is, is, is much, much more powerful than Opt. I think you need to have a really, really good reason to play Opt over Serum Vision's Basically, if your deck is literally all instant speed. I mean... I think it's alright. We're on the play with a redraw and a static caster. I'm just going to keep. They have hard scales. It's a tilt, but... No hardened scales. Obviously. I don't even know why I say anything. Why talk? Sulfur Falls. Not a great draw. Alright. Come on now! Let's be reasonable here. I 
I mean, this is a little silly. Just throwing that out there, you know? Um, <sighs> Thanks, Tannen. Appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Arcbound Worker. Working on it. Hmm. We could have mulliganed. I don't know. No attacks. All right. I mean, we're not going to play Static Aster. There's no reason to do that yet. Try and ambush their Nexus at some point, hopefully. Uh, Foundry's fine. Marriage! That's not bad. Um, so they pump, it's fine. Let them untap, it's fine. Don't get them extra mana. And then uh, we'll path the hangar back walker at an opportune time. Static Caster for Blink Moth Nexus. We're trying. That was a, a Robin Hood reference, yes. Me and Nicole went to a wedding like a year ago, and the person who did like the, you know, the, the whatever it's called, the stuff, started with like, marriage is a sacred, or something like that. And I just turned to Nicole and I was like, marriage. That's <laughs> fine. Princess Bride, right, Princess Bride, not not Robin Hood. Whatever. Old eighties or like nineties comedy. Whatever whatever year it was. Princess Bride eighties or nineties. Like late eighties, early nineties, right? Well that'd be cool if you drew a spell. That'd be dope. Ah crap. Don't play ballista. Hang her back, sure. Spells. I mean, I didn't say it out loud so everyone could hear us. Only, only Nicole could hear me, but that's pretty funny. I'm a pretty humorous guy. Sahili so Lightning Bolt, and then draw land, obviously. God, what an unreal set of events here. Um, I mean, the bolt's not going to work because they're just going to pump this next turn, probably. I'm going to bottom that. We top Sahili, you get the draw card with Wall of Omens, I guess. This is rough. I guess we top it. That's right, Dave Chappelle was in Men in Tights. Princess Bry was 87, okay. Please fire all your Nexus up. Oh god, please keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Crap. All right, so they can pump one, but that also means they can't pump Hanger Backwalker. So this is pretty good for us. We got him. More men in tights. I watched the original Ghostbusters on my flight home from uh, SCG Dallas, I think. So they pump it, it still kills this one, and they can't pump Hangerback Walker. That's a win for me, in my opinion. So, take two, draw Sahili. Look at our hand, this is ridiculous. Um, I guess we can't copy Wall of Omens, because then they'll just attack it and kill it. No, because they're, they're definitely going to pump the Hangerback Walker. I, I should have waited until blocks, I guess, sure. But, we get a free Bolt here. We did not keep Bolt. No, we bought him the Bolt because we, we assumed they were going to pump Hangerback Walker. So, they did not. Yeah, I should have waited. Whatever. Um, I guess we... 
We can leave up Colin on. I guess. Like, this is where we're... This is our life right now. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess I should have waited. You guys are right. So they, they pump Hanger back and then I kill it. They probably just said go, though. But... Alright, so they're flooding too, at least. There's a, a silver lining here. I don't think we have many lands actually left in our deck. We have no duels left. Hey Jim, do you remember that blue-white control player I annihilated at the open in Dallas? Maybe? Lightning Bolt? Hello. That's a... Tan, we got your bolt back. Staticaster, earning its keep. That's a good reason why you should pump Hanger back on your turn, usually, and not let your opponent draw a card if you're locked in on pumping it. Spellskite. Alright, that's going to have us uh, static astering these bad boys. I mean, like, we're honestly in, like, pretty good shape this game, despite having drawn actual nine lands. Steel Overseer? Alright. We could Sahili copy our static caster. It doesn't, it doesn't work. I was on camera? That I remember, yes. Double Sahili. Uh, huh. I guess we Sahili copy Wall of Omens and just like let them, let them attack the first Sahili. This is tough. Draw Feldar Guardian. God damn it. Alright. Um, I don't think I just play another Sahili. Because then I can't just draw Feldar Guardian and win. So I'm just going to play a tap land and say go. Want a rematch? Um, next open is going to be Baltimore. Alright, uh... Oh, don't play a, a... What's this called? A walking ballista? I can't handle that right now. Please be hanger back, Walker. Crap. Alright, now... Things have gotten harder. Um, we have what? Like an explosives in our deck? And some some paths and some abrades and stuff. All right. Yeah. I mean, we're in trouble. I mean, we're just tapping to make them take two, basically, which isn't even good. I guess it's fine. The only animated one Nexus, I'll just let them do it. Snapcaster would be fun. They have Spellskite, though. So, with Spellskite and Ballista in play, things aren't looking great. It's a bad way to go. Just draw nine lands. Our hand was obviously not great, but... That's a start, I suppose. I mean, kind of, not really, because we're just dead anyway, but... Alright. 
now let's start there. I mean, they can nug us for five, and we can Sahili get lucky, draw Feldar Guardian. No, we can't. Oh, yeah, we can't, because they have, they have Spell Sky. The Spell Sky can't stop Feldar Guardian, so just can't target their stuff. So, we'll get lucky. I mean, we are 38. We have 38 cards in our deck, you know? Oh, duh. I'm so dumb. I'm such an idiot. I just said that. All right, we're dead. Duh. Literally just said they have Spell Sky. We can't get out of it. And then draw a path and forget about it. All right, we're one and two. Um, that kind of sucked, honestly. Uh, Walking Ballista, obviously very good against us. That was a rough one. I don't know. I don't feel, I don't feel good about that one. Well, we obviously, um, like the Tron matchup, sure. We lost Tron, whatever. But that one felt a little rough. Drop? Get out of here, J-Mac. Drop? You don't drop on this stream. You gotta get a label maker, Tannen. Print some labels out. Oh, boy. I feel like if we had Stony Silence, that would have been fine. I feel like our sideboard has been the most lacking part of this deck so far. Um, better sideboard cards. I think we were in... Like, if we had a Stony Silence, that would have helped against Tron and that deck, like, a ton. Uh, we're 1 and 2. We lost a rough one against Tron. Just lost a rough one against Hardened Scales Affinity. Stony Silence. Give me Stony Silence or give me death. So this is actually bad because I actively don't want to cast Spreading Seas on their Dark Steel Citadel. Because it actually makes it better. So hopefully we draw a playable card that's... or a land. Cool. Alright. Thank God, I suppose. Might just be planes. Yeah, I think it's just planes. So we hit their payoff, but they have two cards in hand still. They probably have more payoffs. We'll see. Yeah, Stone of Silence is much better than Rejection. Rejection is better against Eldrazi cards, but... What's up, Bubbles? Here from Caleb's host, and I didn't close the stream. Hi. What's up, Bubbles? How's it going, my friend? Thanks for tuning in. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. Playing some Modern today. This is Dan Jessup's Jess Guy Sahili deck. He went 10-5 and five with a GP Hartford. Look pretty fun. Rough go of it so far. Lost to Tron, which seems unwinnable, and lost to a weird Hardened Scales Affinity deck. They had Walking Ballista and Spellskite, and we can't win with a, a Walking Ballista in play. So, it's tough. Because there was a Riptide, there was a Walking Ballista in play, and Walking Ballista can ping the Feldar, I mean the, uh, the Sahili for one mid-combo and break it up. Puppy count is 251. Etch Champion. Alright, this is actually pretty good for us. They have no big damage payoff, and... I think that makes things... not Alright, so we can Reflect Remains, I think it seems pointless. We can Bolt... We could like Spreading Seas, the Ink Moth Nexus have Bolt available. Um, or cast Reflector Mage on like basically nothing. I think I'd rather hold Reflector Mage. Can't you get one fourth a puppy? That's that's fucked up. Could just play tap land. If I draw a plating or something, eh, I'm just play the mountain. You tell me why it has him. Suddenly, pandas. All 
All right, so they draw a card and they attack here. Probably just bolt the Vault Scourge, I guess. Like, obviously we could save the Bolt. I mean, we have Snap Bolt for like a plating later. Just save some damage here. They do look cool. That You found it. That's the reason. They look cool. There's no strategic advantage. Don't try and kid yourself saying there is. There isn't. They just look cool. All right, so we can Feldar Guardian, Blink, Spreading Seas here. They drew a, all right, so they drew a card, though, and the card they drew is not anything they would want to play, meaning it's either a land or a Galvanic Blast, and Blast does kill Feldar Guardian. So the problem is we really have no other plays, um, which kind of sucks. So maybe they Galv Blast the Reflector Mage? What land would they hold? I mean, why not hold a land? There's no reason to not hold a land. Or Mox Opal. Like, Snap Bolt is really doing I'm going to get this Mage in play, and hopefully they just, like, maybe they'll kill the Mage or something, or just... I don't know. I, I should have bounced the Ornithopter, I think. As silly as that sounds. I guess they... they, they anyway, they just played play in this. Never mind. Blink Moth Nexus, okay. So their hand is Memnite and possibly Galvanic Blast. Nope, it was a drum. Cool. Not sure why they would now like, not play it last turn, but then play it this turn. But that's cool for me. They're not gonna attack? Wow. All right. So now they have one card. We know it's Memnite. We're going to Feldar Guardian, bounce Spreading Seas, draw a card. We're going to keep it on Ink Moth, I think. We're at 15. We draw another Feldar Guardian, okay. They draw a Citadel. So they're flooding pretty bad here, but they're also not like, like holding the drum that turn really made us pump the brakes. Now that they just played the drum and the land and have no cards in hand, we're full sailing ahead. So like, if you're playing Affinity, don't play your extra, extra drum that you don't need or land that you don't need. Um, keeping that one card in hand. It looks like a blast. Changes a lot of things. Alright. they This Edge Champion is just not interested in doing anything. Alright. I mean, let's just keep doing our thing, I guess. Aha! Gotcha. Nice islands. Still land. Blade Splicer. Given that they have an attack with Edge Champion, should I fire an attacking with Reflector Mage to see what happens? I guess I want to keep. I want them to keep not attacking, so this is fine, I guess. But I'm kind of curious if they would block or not. They seem to be unaware of how Edge Champion works, so. Thanks for following, my friend. They are... Drew another Nexus, okay. I mean... The Golem does block Champion, that is true. I think I want to just draw more cards, though. I don't think two damage really matters. They draw a Plating is bad, but now they have a Nexus, too, so... I guess if we Splicer, we can leave up Snap Bolt, but I think I'm more interested in just... 
trying to find my damn Sahili, which has been really, really difficult. They played in it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have nine artifacts in play. Eleven. Plating is eleven damage. We can't stop plating anyway, though. We can, we can chump block it, but we can't do much otherwise. Yeah, I'm gonna fell. I'm gonna fell Dark Guardian. Let's draw another card. If they plating, we can then Blade Splice or Snap Bolt and be defended against the champion and the other thing. We could move this Ink Moth one to the Blink Moth. And then we then we, no, then we die to the uh, thing. I mean, died of plating, theoretically, or path to exile, sure. Where do I consistently find these opponents? On Magic Online, I'm playing the same queues you are. This is a competitive modern league. I only ever play competitive modern leagues. So. Arcbound Ravager. That does complicate things. Given how they've played this game so far, though, I highly doubt they're going to shove all in on champion like they probably should. Like, they should probably sacrifice many things. Make champion of like a like a five five, or even a seven seven, right? Go one two three four five six five. You know, if I make it a seven seven and attack twice, but they seem uh oh they did it they attacked, all right. Like, if they had just attacked the last five turns... So we could path Ravager, like, now to minimize one counter. Um, we have Snap, Bolt, Path anyway. It's not like we're short on paths. Yeah. So they have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And see what they do. So now they need to sacrifice more things, but there is a, a limit. There's a limit to the amount of things they can sacrifice and keep Metalcraft. And we do have two Snapcasters, so we can like Snap Bolt something and then Snap Path the Edge Champion, possibly. Second the Nexus, alright. Sack the Citadel? Okay. All right, so they are moving five counters, yes. And they have one, two, three, they have four artifacts in play. Hmm. So... I mean... If they don't play an artifact next turn somehow, I don't know how they ever keep Opal over C Citadel, but I guess it makes fun. We play Splicer. We can chump block. We're going to attack too. That was, I shouldn't have played that actually. I should attack first. And we have Snap, Bolt, Snap. Well, they have three artifacts in play. They have Mox, Opal, Citadel, and Champion. So we can't actually kill the Champion yet. They have, if they have Galvanic Blast, we can't... I guess we could just play the other Blade Splicer. But then if they draw... I guess I don't have any outs anymore, right? You just play, play, play Blade Splicer. Yeah, never mind. They don't have, they don't have, the, they don't have the Flyer anymore, so we don't, we don't need the, uh, the Snapcaster. All right. I mean, Blade Splicer is just good value, right? It's just four power. It's a good blocker. It's good to flicker. Like, what's what's another three drop you'd want to flicker instead? We have no answers to Mox Opal now. Man, they 
They really are not sure what plan they want to be on. Let me tell you. Up. Oh, okay. The Drew Galvanic Blast, I guess God bless him. We're doing it. Spell Queller? That's not a card you want to blink at sorcery speed. Finks is just worse than Blade Splicer. That was a weird game. Our opponent played pretty weird that game. Hi, Burnsy. Everyone say hi to Burnsy. He's having lunch. Wish I could have lunch. All right, so Affinity is Static Aster, Explosives, Anger, Pia, Abrade, Abrade, Rejection, Rejection. And we're going to cut... What do we cut? Jace. All of our cards seem fine. We have so many cards to bring in, though. Damn, what do we cut here? Where's Bernsey's Jello? There it is. He finished it. Um, like spreading seas still hits all the nexus. Uh, wall still blocks stuff. Blade splicer's fine. Reflector mage is kind of bad, I guess. Cut walls; they don't block. Er, something like this. Still not enough cards. Like, Spreading Seas still hits the Nexus, and the Nexus are actually pretty important because they fly over all of our crappy blockers. Um, Reflector Mage does not seem very good. It just bounces Mem Knights and stuff. Um, anything worth bounce, anything worth bouncing, we just want to kill instead. Cut a Guardian. We could, 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 could cut a Saheeli, maybe. I feel like we never draw our combo, though, so I don't want to cut the combo. Sugar. In water. Snapcaster is pretty good. I don't like rejection very much, honestly. Maybe we just don't bring in rejection. Like, especially on the draw. Are oh, you were cutting a second Jace here? I'm just going to have one rejection. Um, it doesn't do much once the board is kind of like done already. And they're on the play. They're going to dump their hand regardless. I want one rejection. I'm cool with this. All right, um, this hand is super awkward. These Colin odds have been real awkward. I'm not gonna lie. Point of mulligans. I guess I'm gonna keep, but Celestial Colin odd has been troublesome most of the time. He's only activated it once, and it was against Tron, surprisingly. But it coming and tapped has been awkward multiple times. Spire go. Spreading seas. I think we're playing Solver Falls here, so we can turn to Bolt. Turn to Cranial Plating alongside nothing. Obviously, we draw Tarn. God damn it. All right, we're not going to seize either one of these. We're just going to play a Lance. I go here. We have Bolt up. We're setting up for explosives on two, probably. Another reason not to play C's or just hold on to it. Opponent has kept some sort of a hand. Serum visions. Well, that's awkward. Um, I guess we just cast it and don't crack our... I want to crack this Tarn, though. But I also want double red. I'm just going to get a mountain, I guess. This is awkward. Yeah, I mean, their, their hand seems atrocious. Yet Mountain, cast Serum Visions. Another Pia, a Blade Splicer, and another Serum well, Visions. Say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. I think we might need to cast this Spreading Seas. I don't like the idea of just killing Spreading Seas with our, our explosives, but I kind of need to draw some lands. I don't want these cards at all. Yeah, this feels bad, but... With double Pia, that that Nexus is not just going to get us by itself. So, take him off black? What do, you, what do you mean? They have two Spires. 
Spell pierce? Sure. You got it. We've been spell pierced. Gonna fire up an old attack for three here. Signal Pest. They are on the board. I mean, no equip, nothing. Another bolt. All right, I mean, I think we're pretty fine to say and go here. Their hand must be some weird combination of like spell esque cards, I guess. Yeah, I mean, if any usually plays one or two spell pierces, that's definitely a thing. Now we gonna equip. Yeah. Okay. I think we're in line to just bolt, bolt here. Maybe we just bolt the Nexus. I mean, I want to cast Pia if I draw a land. I think I'm fine firing off Bolt Bolt here. They play they play land yet? No, right? And eh, just play one bolt. Play a bolt, see what they do, and go from there. Vendillion click? Eh. It's okay. How about a land? I feel like we've had an awkward number of draws. God. Or we either draw, like, all lands or no lands. Like, finding our fourth land's been tough, or we draw ten lands. It's obviously just, like, you know, bad luck, but... We place the Healy here, and plus it. It seems like it... I'm just gonna place a Healy. If they can kill it, they can kill it. I don't really care. And if they can't kill it, awesome. And if we hit, we get a Scry, like, this is just fine. Serum Visions again. God, just give me a land. Um... I'll top it. So now we have Visions Path and Bolt. Sleight of Hand. It's a little a little dip in power level for sure. Ravager, sure. All right, yeah. Okay, so a braid. Hmm. I don't think I want that. I just want to draw land. I'm just gonna bottom this. Staticaster, Sahili, Sahili. All right, bottom, bottom. Got it. And I think we're just going to say go. Um, Ink Moth Nexus. That's a little awkward, but sure. Master of Ethereum. We're gonna kill both these creatures. I guess we just kill the the Ravager. Bolt Ravager. I don't want to die to this Ink Moth Nexus. That seems pretty hard to do. Bolt Ravager, Path Master. Seems all seems reasonable. We draw a land, we win, obviously. So. And then if this if we don't draw land, we can just play explosives on one to kill the pest. Um, Staticaster also can deal with or, or play Staticaster and deal with the Nexus. Just draw land and make this easy. 
pool. What the hell is that? Go yeah, game's pretty unlosable no matter what, so. I could have flickered something else. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Cool. Thank you, opponent, for conceding. I appreciate that. Not wasting my time for the next five minutes. Thank you. If you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. We're two and two, and we are playing Dan Jessup's Jeskai Sahili deck. Sahili felled our guardian. Round one, we beat Storm. Got a little bit lucky. Uh, round two, lost to Tron. Uh, pretty bad matchup. Round three, we lost to the Hardened Scales Affinity deck. Um, Walking Bliss is a nightmare for us, and Spellskite. That was rough. And then we just beat Affinity, traditional kind. And now we're going into to round number five here, trying to go for a a solid 3-2. The average record on, on Magic Online, usually. Your average modern record. Most decks are 3 decks. They were playing against uh, Ray Perez. I like Ray. He's definitely playing blue-white control. So, a nice long game ahead of us. Once again, of course, if you haven't followed me on Twitter... Hop on the old Twitter sphere. Make sure you follow on there. Come on, Jace. Do something. I'll check out the YouTube as well. Him YouTube channel is pretty sweet. We're almost at... Who wants to be subscriber number 6,500? It could be you. Hop on there. Follow the YouTube channel. A lot of cool stuff on there. Deck techs and StarCraft and Versus videos and... Modern, standard, arena, some cube drafts. Did a John draft yesterday. Like pretty fun. Sure. Me and my uh, them. my stepson John I did. did a cube draft. One, one, pretty sweet. Check that one out. One, but yeah, pretty fun. Check it out. YouTube. Check out Twitter, etc. etc. All right. And this hand is pretty good. Can keep this. All Prime subs get 85% off, 500 bits, 1x only. That is true. That is true. Bits. Bits. My APM in StarCraft, it's like 100. It's not very good. I'm a Diamond 3 level StarCraft player. I'm not very good at StarCraft, but I like playing StarCraft. I do a show called Magic Pro StarCraft Bro. Wow. Goblins. I did not expect that. Ray Perez is a blue-white control player at all times. So we might actually be in trouble here, but we'll see. Okay, never mind. Perfect top two. Well, Ark, Rekenner, I don't think your APM matters a ton in lower leagues. Like, you can be super fast, but if you suck, it doesn't really matter. You know, like, like if you just play sound strategy and your your macro is good, you can definitely get to masters with like, not that crazy of an APM. You know, right? Like, I don't I don't think my APM is I might, I might be closer to eighty. Honestly, I really don't know my like I don't spam stuff and try and like, inflate my APM. So all right, so, well, I guess we are. Hmm. We're gonna want to leave Bolt up, I guess. We may not cast the Healy next turn, um, because it might just die, obviously. So we'll see. Spreading Sea is obviously not very good here. Nothing. Wow. So this is awkward. If they play a post combat pile driver, we're in trouble. I'm just gonna let this hit us, I guess. Oh, ah, that's that's actually a huge problem. I didn't realize this. Mog Fanatic is the same thing as a Walking Ballista. We actually can't combo with a Mog Fanatic in play. That is a huge tilt. Did not consider that one. Okay. So once they know what we're doing, this, this Firebrand is the same thing. So... We're probably going to need to go Feldar Guardian first. Alright. We're going to take this three. Kind of weird. Like, we're just dead. Nothing? Yeah, I'll, I'll be doing a versus series pretty soon. I think his players also do that, like... Like, they, like, 
spam their APM at the beginning of the game to like increase the number, which is not really, but aren't actually really doing anything. All right. Uh, I'm gonna bolt this Mog Fanatic. And I think we're in trouble, honestly. <laughs> We can't cast the Healy, because it'll die. They have four power in play. We also can't really reveal we're playing Sahili, otherwise this Firebrand will screw it up. I'm just going to cast Spreading Seas, I guess. We're in trouble. We're probably going to lose this game, honestly. I think we'll be fine as far as the matchup goes, but I think we're going to lose this game. Splicer would have been great last turn. Alright, we're just going to let them let have at it. Let them do whatever they want. Well, the thing is that, like, yeah, if you're 200 APM, you're probably really good because you play all the time. All right, there's the Whacker. Two. And a Bolt. All right, so at least they don't know what we're playing. There's always that. All right, so obviously we're bringing in a ton of cool stuff here. Um... Purge and a braid is like a maybe. We're cutting. Spreading seas. Jace. Reflector mage isn't even that good. Uh, I guess we don't want this purge and a braid, probably. Something like this. Now we have a pile of removal spells, some mass removal, static caster, anger, explosives, double pia to make blockers. Little little disco action here. Uh, Snapcaster's fine. Wall's good. Splicer's good. Staticaster's good. Yeah, that's good to me. They're not microing workers. They're just spamming. They just have like hatchery worker overlord. Hatchery worker. And there's, you know? Now I want to play StarCraft. Alright, this hand is terrible. We're going to mulligan. This hand is also not great, but we're going to keep. We have a wall. We have a bolt. StarCraft stream tonight? Maybe. Could happen. Mog Fanatic is so surprisingly good against us. I'm just going to get a mountain here. Wall of Omens. A lot better than Spreading Seas in this matchup. I mean, we're, we're like kind of light on lands. Hand's fine, obviously. We would love Staticaster or Explosives, things of that nature. They have a bolt? Sure. Also, like a land? Please? Thank you. Double... Double white? It's probably more important than double blue at this point. Yeah. I mean, Blade Splicer's real good here, so... Back-to-back -back Blade Splicer's... Like... They can't blitz us, and we can put some good blockers into play. Like, we should be in good shape. Oh, Vegas is playing tonight? They're going to close that series out. Las Vegas Golden Knights. Lightning Bolt the token, sure. And I still have this 1-1. One, one. No longer, alright. Uh, Zep, I do not remember that one. I actually watch a good amount of StarCraft, but I'm not like a, I'm a pretty casual fan and casual player. StarCraft's my like, my fun thing to do. Like it's, obviously with Magic, I have to take it seriously all the time basically. I'm streaming or I'm coaching or I'm playing at a tournament or like, it's not really like a fun casual outlet for me. What the? All right, opponents, 
a maniac. And uh, so I'm a pretty big StarCraft fan. I get to just kind of like watch and play. And if I'm not good, it doesn't matter. And uh, all right, so they get to Fnatic, the Splicer, Attack, Trade. They have a Bolt here. It's pretty bad for us. But like I'm fine trading here, obviously. Yeah, our opponent's playing 8-whack. Also, I guess we... Yeah, we blocked. It's fun. But they're going to do it for sure. Yeah, so... Alright, I mean... Snapcaster also. Yeah, this is fun. Mog Fanatic can cancel the combo because it Sahili is that one loyalty when you're activating it targeting Feldar Guardian, and they can just kill it with the Mog Fanatic. So. Better to block a 3-3 three -three with the Splicer? Uh, yeah, that was really stupid. You're totally correct. I don't know why my opponent... My opponent should not have given me the option, but you're absolutely right. That was dumb. I, I was just talking, not thinking. My opponent made a bizarre play. Um, so I didn't consider back what I should have done. You're absolutely correct. That's fine. I'll top that. Could bolt this Legion Loyalist to play around, uh, a Goblin Grenade? Yeah, we're gonna do that. We have Snapcaster, Path, etc., etc. Alright, yeah, this is, uh... Should be basically over at this point. Blade Splicer. I'm fine with Blade Splicer. Snap Bolt, Blade Splicer, Reflector Mage. It's all good. Burning Tree Emissary, sure. Reckless Bushwhacker, sure. Snap Bolt, pretty good. Concession. All right. Just got to beat the whack here. On the draw, don't think anything really changes. Let's go. I guess Celestial Purge is better than a Braid, right? Yeah. Because uh, they could have, like, Blood Moon or something. Yeah, Purge obviously better than a Braid. Oh, boy. A little some Healy action. Had some interesting games so far. Here's tuning in. Welcome to the stream. Once again, my name is Jim Davis. Playing a little modern, having some fun. This is Dan Jessup's 10 and 5 Sahili deck from Hartford. We're 2 and 2. Nah, Guardian's pretty good. Guardian's a blocker. Our goal is just to kind of gum the works up. You know, we go turn 2 wall, turn 3 splicer, turn 4 guardian. That's pretty great. So. Okay. Path, purge, snap, splicer. Hard Scales deck is cool. Probably worse than regular Affinity. This hand's pretty awkward. Um, I don't want to cast Path on turn one. Really love if we had Wall of Omens. It's tough. Sam feels pretty close. Oh, yeah, we're playing more magic today. So Healy is good because I want to combo as fast as possible. Um, negate is way too reactive. Like, the, the big count against this hand is casting path on turn one sucks. Foundry Street Denizen. I guess we'll just fetch Hollowed Fountain and Path if we have to. Blade Splash is very good. Goblin Guide. Okay. Kind of like that.
Goblin Gun shows us a lightning bolt. Ugh, I want that lightning bolt. Um... I do really want that lightning bolt. I think we're just going to take this. I mean, it's possible they have a land, so probably unlikely, but it's almost not good they missed the land drop. Because now I really don't want to cast Path, and uh, they have all gas in their hand, too. All right, this is fine. I, I want this bolt. Should you sell your blue cards and buy the Jund? I don't know. All right, eat it. Can't fetch mountain. But, so we'll play mountain. Yeah, finding bolt's pretty great there. My my big qualm with this hand was I did not want to cast path on turn one. Now we have a bolt, so, all right, Mog Fanatic, sure. We get a land, and now we're going to bolt the Foundry Street Denizen. And end step, fetch a white land of some kind. Blue white? Yeah. Take the damage. Get an island. Ooh, another Blade Splicer? Sweet. We're a little low here, and Goblin Grenade's kind of scary, but... Blade Spicer's pretty good. First Strike and Trample. Okay. Creatures have First Strike and Trample. That's interesting. So I guess we just... Oh, tokens can't block? Ugh, I didn't know that part. Alright. We're trumping. We got a bolt on top, we're alright. Oh, it's trample too, I'm an idiot. Ugh, I'm so bad. So I'm literally just reading the words out loud and not listening to myself. All right, um, now we have Purge and Path, or Bolt, I mean. Yeah. Crap. They have five Emissaries and a, and a Whacker, too. Uh, bolt the token. All right. So we can purge bolt or snap bolt. I should let them attack now because the blocking stuff doesn't matter. Did not read Legion Loyalist, it's true. Another land and a good one at that. I don't want to go to five. If, I mean, I think we're just dead. Like, they just have all gas in their hand. We have no way to gain life. Um, like, we got to kill the Loyalist... And probably the Fanatic, but I don't want to take two off the Goblin Guide. I guess we can just path the Fanatic and give them the choice. Next turn, Splicer. This sucks. Alright, um... Snap Bolt won't be able to... Well, Snap Bolt like, stops the Fanatic. The thing is, the Snapcaster can't block effectively. They have First Strike and Trample. So, I... Yeah. 
Alright, whatever. Let's just do some stuff. We're going to go to seven. Colonnade. So we're going to Blade Splicer and have Path up. We can path the lowest if we have to. Um, or a tutu, I suppose, if they have like a removal spell. Oh my god, smash the smithereens. I almost think we path our own our own token here to not take three. Then we chump block the two two and go to six and try and beat a goblin grenade. Wow. So they don't have goblin grenade. Because they obviously want to put us to five. Unless I don't have any goblins left, we're going to block. Let's draw like a, a spell or something. Sahili. Sahili's cute. Um, we could Sahili copy Snapcaster and go bolt, bolt. That's pretty cool. I think we're doing that. All right, we're at seven. We have big draws. They don't kill Sahili. Blockers, colonnades. That was fun. That was a cool play, right? I enjoyed that. Smash is a little weird, yeah. Goblin guide. All right. So not drawing a land next turn, probably. Firebrand. Oh, word five, no. Was I kill Sahili? Nope. Burnsy, wake up. All right, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. It's we're still probably gonna die to Goblin Grenade, but oh, we we, we, we know our top card. We did we did know our top target anyway. Yeah. All right. Uh. Lightning bolts. I think we bottom that. Oh, I'm an idiot. We're a mana short. No, no, we're not. Never mind. We're good. All right. Don't goblin and fire blast me. Ah, oh, crap. Whatever it is, Goblin Grenade. They have two spells left. I guess we Scry first, yeah. Could copy Pia, that's not very good. Come on now, Feldar Guardian. Bottom. Feldar Guardian. Fill the Guardian! <sighs> Blade Splicer Anger? I think maybe we just fire up this Colonnade and attack. I don't think there's any difference between five, 5 and 4, right? I don't want Blade Splicer or Anger of the Gods. Um, we fetch, just fetch here, go to 4, and slam, and leave back. Like, they have two cards in hand, and they're not creatures. So it's very likely they have, like, a bolt and a goblin grenade or something. So let's just try and kill them before I draw out of it, I suppose. 
This attacks for seven. Leave back one blocker. Bolt plus mat. I mean, if they had a, a, a fanatic, they would have played it. We gave them more outs, but now we're dealing four, so we're killing them faster. So I think this is right. All right, they bolted us to one. Still alive. Uh, copying PA doesn't do anything. Copying a token doesn't do enough. All right. Scry. Bottom. Serum visions. Does that do it? I don't think that does it. Five, no it does. That's exactly enough. Bottom, bottom. Oh wait, do we have enough with Pia? Four, five, six, seven, we did. Flank Doctor, doesn't matter. They're dead anyway. We got them. Three or three, we still have enough. You can't copy Kalanod because you'll, you'll, you'll get a land. It will not be animated. It also enters the battlefield tap. That is true as well. But even if you, if you copy a creature Kalanod, you'll get a copy of the card slash show Kalanod, a tapped, tapped, uh, tapped land. All right, so I would say deck seems pretty sweet. We definitely had trouble assembling our combo. Um, I don't know if there's some cards that could help us like, like dig better. Like, people are saying sleight of hand, maybe. I mean, I like the fair aspect of a deck, but modern's pretty unfair at the moment. So, I, I don't know. The sideboard, though, the sideboard got me. Um, I really wanted Stony Silence, and I really wanted something else against Tron, if possible. Um, and Stony does that, actually. Stony is good against Tron also. So, definitely want some Stonies in the board. A braid is like, meh. Relic was good. Not sure. Pia might be a little too fair. Maybe like one on the board, none main. Jace also seemed a little too fair. There's just no fair matches in modern right now. Everyone's just just herka jerking all over each other. So overall, that was pretty sweet though. Um, our colonnades too. I think I'll be like two colonnad. We had some tapped land issues as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks to Dan for building it and sending it over, of course. And, um, yeah, deck's pretty fun. I think if I were to play it again, I'd play some Stonies. Um, maybe trim the main deck a little bit. Maybe the Reflector Mages aren't really, weren't very good either. Like, there's just too many matches where this card doesn't do anything. I wouldn't mind if, like, we cut, like, Reflector, Reflector, and maybe, like, Pia or Jace, and added, like, Fourth Blade Splicer, and then, like, some other cheap manipulation. Um, maybe sleight of hand. I don't really know. That's fair. We didn't play against humans. Um, yeah. I mean, we played against no matches where this card's actually good, right? So, like, it felt bad, but modern's pretty... Is it what it is? Hey, Burnsy. What's up, bud? But um, yeah, that was definitely super sweet, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're watching on YouTube, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you sub to the channel, and if you're watching a stream, the stream will continue. So if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching, my friends.